Recently, I've been watching the Hotel Transylvania television series and I'm embarrassed to say that I actually like it. Yes, that's right, you heard me. I actually like a Sony produced cartoon that's a prequel slash spin-off of an existing animated film. I'm just as shocked as you are. Now I wouldn't necessarily call this great. I would say it's above average, but I think Sony did a better job executing this show than the Cloudy with the Chance of Meatball television series. For one thing, I think this show has a better reason for its existence. Sure, I didn't necessarily ask for this, but I was at least a little bit interested in seeing Mavis as the main character, as in the Hotel Transylvania movies, she didn't receive as much focus as Dracula and Jonathan, despite the stories mainly being about her. Plus, I'm a sucker for dark fantasy, so at least had a few reasons to be excited about. And I gotta say, the show delivered exactly what I wanted. Now, the first impression I had when I first watched this was, the opening sequence kinda sucks. But don't worry, the closing sequence is a lot better. So the premise of this show is basically that Dracula had to leave the hotel to attend the vampire council for business related issues. So Mavis was kind of sort of left in charge of the hotel, although really Aunt Lydia is the one who's in charge. I like Mavis in this series. The voice actor does a good job portraying her. Here she's 114 years old and you can easily tell that she behaves more like a teenager here than in the original movies where she's 118 or 24. She's reckless and has some crazy ideas, but she's funny, seems like a nice enough person, and has a cute design. Even when she says and does questionable things, usually she gets punished at the end of the episode. Although I don't really understand why she says Boom Dracalaka. Like I don't understand why she says that. Isn't Boom Shakalaka a basketball reference? She played once basketball and she wasn't even that great at it. Seriously, what is up with this slang? I enjoy her relationship with Aunt Lydia. Aunt Lydia is the strict, bossy, and cold person who pushes Mavis to be more responsible. She's basically a more terrifying version of Mr. Herman, but here's why I think her character is better executed than Mr. Herman. For one thing, Mavis can be irresponsible, so you can easily empathize with Aunt Lydia's bossiness, unlike Frankie who works really hard and never deserves to be bossed around by Mr. Herman. Of course, this show still makes Aunt Lydia cruel enough for us to root for the main character. Also, unlike Mr. Herman, Aunt Lydia is actually capable of giving Mavis the credit which she deserves. Mavis' friends are mostly fine, they do a good enough job giving Mavis social company, but to be honest, with the exception of Wendy, who can occasionally be mildly amusing, they're not really that memorable. The animation here is better than the Cloud with the Chance of Meatball series, as it's noticeably more fluid and bouncy. The style and environment of the show is a lot energetic and chaotic, but it kinda works because of how crowded and diverse the hotel is. One of the reasons I like fantasy cartoons is how it's capable of generating creative concepts and exploring possibilities, and this show does exactly that. It takes advantage of the dark fantasy premise to create some interesting concepts and creative gags. Also, the humor is good. Not great, some episodes are funnier than others, and occasionally the humor feels fabricated, but overall it's good-ish. Alright look, I know I'm probably giving this show more credit than it deserves, but if it makes you feel any better, there are a few gripes I have with it. For starters, I think this show is a little too fast paced, to the point where you don't fully swallow and take in the story, and several events in the story don't feel very natural, and instead feel like they happened because they had to. Plus, I'm not sure if it's 100% because of the pacing, but the show sometimes screws up at properly establishing the main conflict. I know this because there were a few episodes where I knew what the main conflict was, but I didn't necessarily know how it started. Also, this isn't something that happens every time, but occasionally the background music will suddenly change from one musical score to the other, all of them with different genres in order to fit the tone of the scene. Now that is not at all a bad thing, a lot of cartoons do that and usually works in their favor. The problem is that in this show, the change feels drastic and it doesn't help that the scores tend to have noticeably different styles. Now again, this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. Other issues I have with this show are mostly nitpicks, for instance there's this episode where Mavis and Aunt Lydia try to scare a family to win a scare slash screaming contest and they were freaked out by the sight of human feces. Now, for the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to assume that vampires can't poop because they only drink blood, which is a little inconsistent given certain scenes, but still. 
I'm going to assume vampires can't poop. Still, they should at least be aware of the concept of defecation. Surely other monsters there also poop. I mean, pooping is something completely natural and not exclusive to humans. So given that Aunt Lydia and Mavis are basically running that hotel filled with monsters, they should be aware of bathroom duties in some ways. Also, I think humans are in some way aware of the existence of monsters given a certain episode where a human lady wanted to protect her baby from monsters almost as if she knew they exist. She even pointed out the place where they live. Now, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure humans only became aware of the existence of monsters around the end of the first movie, which takes place roughly four years after this show. Again, maybe I'm wrong, I might have to watch the first Hotel Transylvania movie to confirm. Also, the hotel seems to be a lot closer to the living neighborhood than it probably should. Overall, I think this show's above average. It's not really groundbreaking and you're not really missing out that much by not watching this. There are plenty of television series out there that achieve the same things this cartoon did, but I would still recommend it just to see if it's your cup of tea. It's not as good as the original movies, but I do think the premise is different enough to be judged by its own merit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye for now.